Welcome to Roots Finder. While you're waiting for your GEDCOM to import, let's go over some things that will help you make family history easy to research and easy to share. One of the first things you're going to want to do is attach documents and photos to your tree. To do this, you'll probably start with your pedigree. It will look something like this. These little stars represent sources in your GEDCOM, so you can tell at a glance who's been well researched and who still needs some work. The green circles are hints, suggestions for new sources we think you might want to look at based on the information in your tree. Click someone's name to see more information. A little card will open up showing their vital information, their spouses and children, and their parents and siblings. You can view their pedigree by clicking View Tree, go to their profile page by clicking View Profile, or edit their vital information by clicking Edit Profile. When you view the profile page, you'll see all the information about them. This area at the top is their profile header. You can set the profile picture, a cover photo, and the preferred vital information you want to see here at the top by clicking the different sections. Under the profile header is a little toolbar. We'll talk more about what each of these icons do later. First, let's look through the timeline of events that were imported in your GEDCOM. Click any title to expand the card. Then click the pencil icon to edit it and attach your documentation using the Select File button here. Click through and review the information using the Next button at the bottom. Here on tab 4, People, you'll want to make sure everyone is tagged. This puts the image on everyone's timeline along with the supporting evidence. Then click Save. Use the Evidence Analysis Report here to stack all your sources side by side and see what they have to say. You may decide to restructure your data somewhat to wring the most out of it. Check out our webinars to learn more about this and other advanced topics. You'll find them in the Help Center, which you can access using the Help icon here in the top header. As you go, you'll probably also want to add photos and other items that may not have particular genealogical events. They're just pictures or maybe family videos. You can add those in the media section over here on the right. Use the plus button to upload a new photo, then tag as many people as you want by typing their name and selecting them from the list. When you've added a fair amount of documents and photos to someone, you may want to make a video about their life. You can do that by clicking the little film strip here. You can share all of this information with your family for free using the share icon on the person page or an item. After you've added your documents and photos, it's time to start growing your tree. The fastest way to do this is with the RootsFinder Web Clipper for Chrome and importing from FamilySearch, which we'll talk about next.